Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 Tremor. Now, this one's in the 402A package, so it's fully, fully decked out. First and foremost, though, a huge shout-out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with the Tremor. Check out the inventory link below. Let's get into the video. So under the hood of the Tremor, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission, fuel economy 16 around town and then 20 on the highway with power outputs being 400 horsepower and then 500 pound feet of torque. And just so you guys know, this is the only engine you can get with the Tremor. You can't get the uh, power boost. Now let's go over the front end of the Tremor. So first off, you get this really cool accent here on the top of the hood. Now it is not functional, but it is functionally cool, right? Aside from that, coming down below, we've got these full LED lights with the projector bulbs. I really love the accenting you get that is specific to the Tremor. We've got the Ford logo that's been darkened with the camera there at the bottom. And then notice the tow hooks have that same coloration on them. And then something that's really cool here with the Tremor package, and this is with the newer F-150s as well, is when you turn the wheel to one way or the other, if you're making a turn, then it'll actually turn on that adjacent fog light. So then you actually get some added visibility. And aside from that, there is the full front end view. If you guys are wondering, this one's finished in Velocity Blue. Now coming around the side here, I've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then on top of that, what the Tremor package does is it gives it a slight lift, monotube shocks, and then that all actually increases the wheel travel with the Tremor package. And then you guys can see the front suspension, I'll show you guys everything in the rear and then also the tread pattern here on the tires. And then also we've got our F-150 Tremor badge right here with the venting on the side. And again, that same special coloration that looks great. And then you guys can see we've got the off-road side steps. Notice with the mirrors are body painted, we've got the camera out the side of the mirror. And then, yeah, just look at this full side view, it looks great. Now yes, the back end is slightly higher than the front end, but they actually, again, increased the front and the back with a slight lift. And then you guys can see we've got the Tremor sticker here on the rear. We still have the leaf springs. So again, the new Raptor is the only new F-150 you can get that has the coil suspension. This still has the leaf springs. You guys can see the rest of the setup. Uh, and if you guys are wondering, from a suspension and tire standpoint, this is going to compete with the Rebel and with the Trail Boss. Pretty cool. Now let's finish things up here in the rear. So first off, we've got a payload of 1,548 pounds. And you guys can see a quick look there with the bed that is also obviously in velocity blue. Notice we have this light right here that's next to the camera. Darkened Ford logo. And again, with the Tremor logo with that special coloration. Now you guys probably noticed that we've got the dual exhaust tips here out the back, just like what you get on a Raptor. Looks fantastic. Got the parking sensors here with the recovery hooks and then receiver hitch there in the center portion. But yeah, especially with those dual exhaust tips, it looks really aggressive from a back end perspective. And then you guys can see the full LED lights here. And yeah, overall, from an exterior aesthetics perspective, this has got to be the best looking F-150 side from the Raptor. Now here's the door panel with the new Tremor. Notice that the stitching actually matches the accent you get on the outside. It looks fantastic. But you've got nice soft touch here, really nice materials. And then you can see here as well, here's kind of a closer look at the design with that. And then we've got the Bang & Olufsen sound system with this particular one. And then here are the seats. These things look great. Again, you've got that same special coloration for the Tremor package. And notice that it's even inlaid into the perforations here and on the piping and on the floor mats if that wasn't enough for you. Got the regular seat back storage with the cup holders right here, heated seats, and you've got all the charging ports. And then you guys can see under there. Uh, and if you guys are wondering, with the Tremor package, it's got the Super Crew, and then you've got the short bed for the configuration. So same amount of space, nothing has changed from a space perspective. The back seats of Ford's absolutely massive, you guys know that, but anyways, so yeah. Now here's the door panel at the front. Again, you've got all of that stitching just down below as well. And then the nice leather where you can rest your arm. And again, that same trim just looks really unique. Memory seats, we've got all of our controls for the windows, the mirrors. This does have power folding mirrors. They've got blind spot monitoring. Another speaker for the Bang & Olufsen sound system. And you guys probably noticed that there's also a speaker in the headrest as well. Got the Tremor logo. Again, the nice perforated leather with the piping, all of your power adjustments. 
pedals just down below. Got the adjustments for the pedals, the parking brake, light controls. Those are the lights outside either side. And then you've got that for the tailgate. The steering wheel is automatically adjustable. And there's one more look before we pop in. Here's our steering wheel on the Tremor. You guys will notice that you've got the really nice leather around the steering wheel. And then here we've got that contrasted stitching that matches the accenting all throughout the truck. And then this trim down below. And then just like any other loaded up F-150, we've got our adaptive cruise control. We've got our voice commands. We've got our volume controls, controls here for the center stack. You've got the stock there for the windshield wipers and turn signal. And yeah, that's all for the steering wheel. Also, they darkened the Ford logo in the center. Yes, finally, that looks great. Now we've got the full digital readout and notice how we have a little tremor there in the center. That is nice attention to detail. And then we've got a few different menus that we can scroll through here with the center screen. So for example, we can see fuel economy if we so desire. And then just like all the other new F-150s, we have a bunch of different drive modes. So we've got our normal on the one side, we're actually going to go to the other side, sorry. And then we've got our tow haul, we've got our eco, and then we have our sport. And notice it shows the tremor in the different environments. And then on the other side, we've got our slippery, we've got our deep snow, we've got our mud ruts, and then we also have our rock crawl mode as well. And it'll give you instructions on what to do when you go into the different drive modes if you have to change uh, anything. But yeah, overall, looks great. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the digital readout. We've got our auto stop start here. We've got this for the camera. We've got this for the hazard lights. This is kind of like our off-road cruise control right here. And then aside from that, we've got our stability control at the top. And again, these are all at the top of the infotainment system. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. Notice we have a backup camera with trajectory lines. They do turn with the steering wheel. And then we have this bird's eye view, which you can click this and it'll give you different viewpoints there on the truck to help out with parking. But guess what? We have a ton of different cameras here with the Tremor. So you guys can see we've got all these different viewpoints that are in this menu right here. You literally can see every single angle on the truck. Ford does allow you to have auxiliary cameras. And something that is new is we've got this for like the receiver hitch. And you guys can see the viewpoints out either side. Uh, overall, all of it looks great. If you guys are wondering, it's beeping at me because I don't have a trailer on. And it's like, what are you trying to do, Mr. Ben Hardy? But that is pretty much everything for the camera system. Well, we've got one more thing. When we press the camera button, it'll pop up with the camera view uh, as well, which is uh, pretty cool. And I don't know if this applies to the Tremor, but I found this out with the new Bronco. So this might uh, apply as well. So what I found with the new Bronco is if you put it in, if you press the camera button so that it's on, and then you put it into four wheel low, which I will do right now and we'll see if this works, then typically, it'll keep the camera on and then it'll do the trajectory lines. Yep, there we go. So notice we have the trajectory lines as well. Uh, so turn the camera button, four wheel low, and then you'll have the trajectory lines out front, which will obviously help with off-roading. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, I've gone over this in a bunch of other Fords. You guys know I love it. Response time is great and you can drag over things if you want. So you can make that the main screen, just really user friendly. Uh, and other than that, I'll kind of just keep things short with the infotainment system. So we have our pro trailer assist on this, trailer brake controls, and then this is for the drive mode select, and then also the drive line select is in that whole area. Radio controls, we've got our climate controls. This comes with dual zone climate, heated cooled seats, heated steering wheel as well, and then we've got all of the outlets in this area. And then you guys can see again with that trim, looks absolutely fantastic. And then underneath here, you've got some extra storage space as well, and then notice the nice gray metallic trim. And then yes, this does have the fold down shifter because it has the center console which you can fold over and this doesn't have any funny logos or anything on it so you don't have to worry about like smashing a nice logo into there you can just kind of nicely lay it down and then just press that and that'll pop the shifter back up that's for the manual mode a couple cup holders and then as for the rest of the center console pretty normal stuff we've got the dual glove box which looks great and then again notice that same trim there on the outside of the glove box and then the dash as well and yeah that all looks great now up top here, we've got the auxiliary switches, which make you feel like you are a fighter pilot, something that Ford has done a really good job at. Sunglass holder, this one's got the full panoramic sunroof as well, and then power sliding window, universal garage door openers, all black headliner, and that's all for the top. Here's our window sticker for the Tremor. Feel free to freeze the frame if you wanna read all of the standard equipment that comes with the package right here. You guys can see the fuel economy and then that information at the top. And then you guys can see the options right here that have been added with this 
particular truck. So you guys can see the base price right there, 49,000. Then after all the options and then destination charge, $68,785. Wait for it, wait for it, a little bit longer. Let's take it out and see how it drives. about visibility before we set off here in the tremor you guys can see visibility of the hood and it's so cool to see the venting both of the mirrors and again they do a blind spot monitoring throughout the rest of the rear and let's set off off here in the tremor and i do have a pretty limited amount of driving with this particular truck so uh ford if you're watching this video you should send one of these out to utah so i can get some more extensive testing hint hint wink wink but Aside from that, actually setting off here in the Tremor, what I do want to mention is this feels pretty much just like any other new F-150 at low speeds. It, it does feel like you're slightly higher up off the ground. You do feel like you have a little bit more road presence. Um, but other than that, it feels pretty much the same. The steering is just as easy and light, uh, and all of that is pretty much uh, identical. So I guess, yeah. Low speeds, feels the same. So actually setting off here in the F-150 Tremor on the road, right? First off, yeah, just like all the other new F-150s, ride quality is exceptionally smooth. And yeah, this would be an amazing daily driver from a ride quality perspective. Soaks everything up really nice. And yeah, just again, it has that nice smooth ride quality. Now you can still tell that this does have leaf springs. When you do go over little things, the back end, right, you can still feel a little bit of hop. Uh, but it's really not bad. And I would say that this is definitely the smoothest and most comfortable truck that still has leaf springs on the market. Now, aside from that, turning, yeah, steering's really light, really direct though, definitely has a nice level of directness to it. And overall, like, I really don't have anything bad to say about the Tremor uh, from kind of this low speed stuff with the daily drivability. It's smooth, it's comfortable. If you guys are wondering about these seats, they're perfect. So the bolsters are pretty wide. So if you're a big person, you'll still fit in these seats, uh, but there's a nice amount of cushion to the seats and they're just really comfortable. It seems like truck manufacturers just know how to make their seats because all of them are great. But we will get our full blown acceleration here with the Tremor and see how it goes. Yeah, that EcoBoost is as quick as ever, especially here at elevation, it's just so strong. Uh, now I will say, again, doesn't feel as quick as a Raptor, but it still feels uh, relatively quick, especially compared to like other trucks in this segment. It definitely feels punchy, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But let's kind of sum things up with the Tremor, and then let's make a couple of uh, comparisons, and then yeah, we'll be pretty much done with today's video. So, summing things up here with the Tremor itself. Smooth, comfortable, looks fantastic. And yeah, I, I would have to say, like I, I really don't have anything bad to say about the truck. It is just an amazing package overall. And obviously it's cool, it has that off-road capability. Now let's make some quick comparisons to the Trail Boss and the Rebel because that's kind of like this truck's number one competition. Uh, first off, what I'm gonna say is exterior aesthetics. I feel like it's really only a competition between the Rebel and this. The Trail Boss is a good looking truck, but the Rebel looks great. This looks fantastic. Uh, it's close. Um, I, I, it's, it's hard for me to pick a winner. I think they both look great, but let me tell you, this Tremor has some road presence, especially in this bright blue. Looks fantastic. Interior wise, this wins out over both of them. Here's why. So yes, you can get a big display with the Rebel. Uh, no, you can't get a full digital display. So I guess the F-150 wins on that part, but the Rebel doesn't offer heated and cooled seats. It only offers heated seats. So this wins from that perspective. Uh, and I feel like this interior just kind of matches the overall like ambiance of this vehicle a little bit more. This interior feels like modern and sporty and that's what the Tremor's all about. And so yeah, really solid from that perspective. Uh, they both have similar shocks, similar tire setup, right? They both have 18 inch wheels, 275 millimeter tires. They both have monotube shocks. 
Uh, so yeah, it'd be a tough decision. Uh, I guess what I'd have to say is I, this one feels just a little bit nicer, a little bit more modern. Um, but I mean, I, I drive both of them, but I'm, I think I'm gonna have to say for me personally, I'm on Team Tremor. I won't be offended if you stay on Team Rebel, but yeah, this this truck, it's, it's impressive. This is now my favorite entry-level off-road truck on the market.